my dear viewers it is my special greetings and also my best wishes spoken english speaking good english is also an art so any art should be practiced should be given training very long similarly uh, in the speaking english also it's a skill it is an art which we have to practice now when after listening just start practicing at home with your friends you can even stand in front of the mirror and speak you know for us uh, some sums and questions and answers you can have you can frame questions and give answers that will always help us to make ourselves better and better we should find chances opportunities situations to speak good english then only english spoken english will be developed so now we are just trying to have some sentences and the, the content words content words we did in the beginning but not in detail so content words are always useful and we use the content words always also the knowledge of content words is useful for our spoken english and we have to use the content words in our spoken english so content words means they are nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs nouns means all that we see everywhere around us no the names of the things which we see around us and names of the persons we meet and names of the places which we hear which we watch in the tv all these are the nouns they you know, are the persons abraham Morgan, uh, Isaac, anything. This is all. These are all names, no? Kala, Mala, Lakshmi. All these are names of people, which we write with the capital letters. That is starting with the capital letter. We always do that. Proper nouns are that. Whenever we write proper nouns, it should begin with a capital letter. So similarly, names of places: India, Ireland, Scotland, Japan. Finland, like this, names of the countries, names of the oceans, names of the rivers, names of the mountains, names of the cities. All these also come under nouns and proper nouns. When we write them, we have to start with a capital letter. So in that way, there are many proper nouns. We can see anywhere. Sometimes names of the streets, so when when we cross by names of the roads, names of the junctions, and also names of the Uh, some sometimes we see even the name boards here and there. All these are proper nouns, no? And uh, next is common nouns. Common nouns are commonly seen everywhere. Now, uh, flower is a common noun. Leaf is a common noun. Plant is a common noun. Stem, roots, insects, grass, mud, water, sunlight. All these are common nouns which we see here and there. broomstick the dustbin the papers which are seen here and there anything all these are common nouns desk bench notebook pen pencil all the stationary items no or rubber eraser blade scissors everything is a common noun which we see everywhere boy girl is a common noun boy is a common noun girl is a common noun. but boy's name balu means it's a proper noun girl's name kavita means it's a proper noun girl is a common noun but kavita means it's a proper noun because name of that person girl boy means common noun man woman common noun fisherman is a common noun carpenter is a common noun but johnson is a carpenter when we say johnson is a name of the carpenter so johnson is a proper noun but carpenter is a common noun so in that way proper nouns and common nouns if you pay little attention to it we can know it. proper nouns we don't use the or a articles we don't use at all but for common nouns we use the articles i talk to a carpenter i called for a painter i called i uh, talked to the plumber to get the things done so we use a or the uh, the laborers are working very hard to finish the work early 
So in that way, common nouns are used with the articles. An orange and apple, we say, and is used before the vowels. In that way, common nouns are said with the vowels, with the uh, with the articles. Sorry, not with the vowels, but with the articles. But proper nouns they don't have articles. So this is this, these are our one set of nouns. Then we have got even collective nouns. That is group of people. When we say group is a collective noun. Herd of cattle. H e r d. Herd of cattle. Bouquet of flowers. Bouquet is a collective. Crew of soldiers. The team of workers. Team is common noun. Uh, that is collective noun no? because. A group of people are there. Team of workers. When we say workers is a common noun, team is a collective noun. So like that we have got collective nouns. Then we have abstract nouns also. Nouns means what we see here and there: stem, flowers, bucket, uh, um, and uh, pot. Uh, all these we see: window, uh, wall. We, we are able to tea, see, touch them and name them. But abstract nouns are completely different. We cannot touch them. We cannot, uh, we cannot uh, find out where it is. No shape, nothing. They like words like kindness, gentleness, love, affection, punctuality, loyalty. All these qualities we can't touch, we can't see. But we can see a person with loyalty, but loyalty cannot be touched, cannot be seen. So such nouns are called as abstract nouns. Abstract cannot have anything solid. Love, a person in love can be felt, can be seen, but we can only feel the experience love, but cannot be touched. Then we have got even material nouns, no? Iron, steel, gold, silver. Like this, there are some many words like this. We can go little more in detail in the next uh, video. Now just after listening to it, please look around and try to find out the names. If you are not able to get the names, look in the dictionary at the thesaurus and find out the names and try to form sentences and have a diary with you. And every day I already said you can write some five sentences. And you can learn some words, 5 to 10 words every day, which are not known to you. Some new words, but which are commonly used. In that way, we can develop uh, the vocabulary skill as well as spoke, speaking skill. Spoken language can be developed. Writing also skill can be also developed. So by reading and by listening, we can develop the writing skill and speaking skill also. Let us all together develop our skills and make ourselves better and better in many ways and very particularly in this area of spoken English. Bye for today.